Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update April 26, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode 221. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on this show, if you want the English spelling, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Xiao Zhan releases a personal message and the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. But first, Qing Ya Qi is an upcoming Chinese fantasy movie starring Mark Chow and Deng Lun, and they've wrapped after filming for 8 months. The movie is based on the Japanese novel series On Myoji, written by Baku Yumemakura. It follows a cosmologist, played by Mark Chow, and his friend, played by Deng Lun, as they solve baffling cases up in heaven. The movie was directed by Edward Guo, who also did the Lord of Ravaging Dynasties fantasy drama series. Here he is with Mark Chow at the rap, and here he is with Deng Lun. He posted those pictures on his Weibo account with the message, Love you guys 3000 times. Mark Chow has openly stated before that he is quite selective of the projects he undertakes, and it's quite noticeable. For a while now, he's only done one or two movies a year, and he rarely does dramas. He was recently in the movie Detective D, The Four Heavenly Kings, but in the drama world, he is of course best known for his role as Ye Hua from 10 Miles of Peach Blossoms. He also has the modern drama Ordinary Glory awaiting release. Deng Lun shot to fame in Ashes of Love, in which he starred with Yang Zi. He most recently starred in Blossom and Heart with Li Yitong. Qing Ya Qi will be his first starring role in a movie. Another note of interest is that there is supposedly another Chinese adaptation of the On Myoji series in the works, and that will undoubtedly draw comparisons. That one also features an impressive cast, including Chen Kun and Zhou Xun. Now I say supposedly because that project was announced in 2016, and I haven't heard anything about it for a couple of years now, so to be honest, I'm quite skeptical of it materializing. And now a word on the Grace Show incident. So this story has been on entertainment sites everywhere it seems, so I thought I'd touch on it in case you guys were wondering what it was all about. The story involves Grace Chow, a 31-year-old Chinese internet celebrity with 1.8 million followers on Instagram, and Shou Luo, a 40-year-old Taiwanese pop star probably best known for his hosting gigs on the Chinese variety show Go Fighting. The two dated for 9 years, they sported matching tattoos, and many thought they were gonna get married. However, they didn't display any interaction in recent months, and finally, Grace revealed that they had broken up. And that's a messy breakup, being played out on social media in front of everyone. In a lengthy open letter to show, Grace accused him of being a serial cheater throughout their 9 years together. She said that after looking through his cell phone, she found out that he would have girls over when she was not around and get girls to meet him at hotels. She also accused him of cheating on her with other artists, among them Taiwanese show host Butterfly. Butterfly recently apologized to Grace. In response, Sho issued not one, but two apologies. He didn't get into details the way Grace did. He said he made mistakes and that he would self-reflect. He also said he was thankful for the time they had together and that he would bear the consequences of this. The whole story actually goes further than this, I just gave some of the highlights. Now Grace said she looked through his phone. I don't know if that's cool, I'll let you guys be the judge of that, but the fact is that by doing so, she discovered all the lies. Sho said he was thankful for the time they had together, and I'm in no position to doubt his gratitude, but he was coloring outside the lines for most of it, which begs the question, why stay in the relationship then? Why not break it off so he can do his own thing with a clear conscience, instead of betraying another human being like that? Anyway, that's just my two cents on an issue that's been grabbing headlines in the Chinese entertainment circle. Wish them both the best of luck. Xiao Zhan releases a personal message and a new upbeat song. In recent weeks, Xiao Zhan and his studio have been making a bit of a splash. First, with Xiao Zhan releasing his rendition of the Chinese classic song Ode to Red Plum Blossoms, and then with his studio releasing a statement regarding some netizens damaging his reputation, and most recently with his lawyers releasing a letter of warning to those netizens. And now there's more from the man himself. On April 25th, he posted this, a picture of his personal artwork, which is also the cover to a new song he's released. My first impression of it was it looked like a colorful tulip, but it's actually a heart. And this is what he said. He said the heart is the junction for veins and arteries. 
The blue and red lines are interlaced to form the shape of love, and love is the origin of light. Hence the title of his new song, Guangdian, or Spot of Light. His personal message on the Weibo post was, We'll remember all that's past, grateful for all the kind comments and criticism on the path of maturity. I checked out the song on YouTube and it's an upbeat and catchy tune with many English parts in it. So for international fans, if you didn't get any of the lyrics in Ode to Red Plum Blossoms, you'll get about 40% of the lyrics in Spot of Light. Xiao Zhan worked with an international production team from North America and Europe for this song. He also said it was his first time trying an R&B style song. Xiao Zhan's comeback, if you want to call it that, is certainly gaining traction, and his strategy of letting his talent do the talking is working in my opinion. I also think his team's done a great job with the timing of it all, and dare I venture that one of his dramas might be premiering soon. Could it be The Wolf? Some of you guys brought to my attention that Vicky acquired the license for it. That's definitely a good indication. Maybe those May premiere rumors will materialize after all. I will keep you guys updated on this. And it's Sunday today, so time for the top 10 Chinese dramas and actors at the moment. Edition 17, April 26, 2020. The data is provided by V-Linkage, a marketing consultant company based in Shanghai. The list is based on view counts on Tencent, iQiyi, and Youku, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. We begin with the top 10 web dramas. Number 10, The Sleuth of Ming Dynasty. The costume drama stars Darren Chen and Fu Mengbo. Number 9, The Chang'an Youth. The costume drama stars Yuvan Wang and Caesar Wu. Number 8, The Best of You in My Mind. The modern drama stars Gala Zhang and Irene Song. Number 7, Closer to You. The modern drama stars Li Yinan and Sabrina Zhuang. Number 6, Love of Thousand Years. The costume drama stars Xiao Lu Si and Zheng Ye Cheng. Number 5, Winter Begonia. The Republican era drama stars Huang Xiaoming and Andrew Yin. Number 4, If There's No Tomorrow. The modern drama stars Guo Jingfei and Vivi Miao. Number 3, The Lost Caverns. The modern drama stars Pan Yueming and Kitty Zhang. Number 2, My Roommate is a Detective. The Republican era drama stars Ku Yitian and Leon Zhang. And number 1, Legend of Awakening. The costume drama stars Arthur Chen and Dylan Xiong. Fans of Arthur Chen and Legend of Awakening make their support count as the drama debuts right at the top. My Roommate is a Detective and The Lost Caverns continue their strong run in second and third respectively. And now the top 10 Chinese TV dramas at the moment. These are based on TV ratings and social media discussions in China, and they include reruns. Number 10, Lucid Water Lush Mountain. The modern drama stars Yang Shuo and Pan Ziling. Number 9, My Brother, My Sister-in-Law. The modern drama stars Wang Ting and Wang Yajie. Number 8, Realize Our Dreams. The modern drama stars Xia Yang and Song Yunhao. Number 7, A Hawthorn Tree Far Away. The modern drama stars Wu Qijiang and Ma Li. Number 6, I Will Find You a Better Home. The modern drama stars Sun Li and Luo Qing. Number 5, Skate into Love. The modern drama stars Janice Wu and Steven Zhang. Number 4, Horizon Homeland. The modern drama stars Lin Xiaosu and Chuo Ni. Number 3, If Time Flows Back. The modern drama stars Jing Dong and Ru Lu Jiang. Number 2, Serenade of Peaceful Joy. The costume drama stars Wang Kai and Maggie Jiang. And number 1, Hunting. The modern drama stars Wang Kai and Angel Wang. No big changes from last week. Hunting switches spots with Serenade of Peaceful Joy, but both remain in the top two, and Wang Kai continues his dominance in Chinese TV. And now the top 10 Chinese drama actors at the moment. The list is based on drama performances, social media discussions, and Baidu searches. And on this list, there's no separation between web and TV. It's just drama actors as a whole. Number 10, Zhao Lu Si. She recently starred in Love of Thousand Years with Zheng Ye Cheng. Number 9, Angel Wang. She currently stars in Hunting with Wang Kai. Number 8, Zhu Yilong. He recently started filming The Rebel with Tong Yao. Number 7, Del Raba. She recently starred in Eternal Love of Dream with Van Gogh Gao. Number 6, Hu Yitian. He currently stars in My Roommate is a Detective with Leon Zhang. Number 5, Huang Xiaoming. He currently stars in Winter Begonia with Andrew Yin. Number 4, Leon Zhang. He currently stars in My Roommate as a Detective with Hu Yitian. Number 3, Wang Yibo. He is currently filming Legend of Fei with Zhao Liying. Number 2, Xiao Zhan. He recently released his newest single, Spot of Light. And number 1, Wang Kai. He currently stars in Hunting and Serenade of Peaceful Joy. Not much changed from last week on this list either. 
Wang Kai continues to sit on the throne, and Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo continue to make their presence felt on this list. So there it is guys, hope this gives you an idea of who and what's hot in Chinese drama land at the moment. And that's it for this episode. This show would not be possible without your support, so I thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed it, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers.